Hi, Mike Bulling here. Welcome to this short video on potable water systems, the freshwater systems that you have on your boat. The potable water in the storage tank of your boat can be supplied from either a reverse osmosis water making system or the main supply from the marina, or maybe some from each source. In the reverse osmosis water maker, seawater is drawn from the sea box through the sea strainer by the low pressure pump. It's forced through the sand filter to remove large particulate material, then on through the particulate filters, usually 20 micron, then 5 micron, and into the high pressure pump suction. The high pressure pump forces it through the membranes where the pressure is controlled to around 800 pounds per square inch by the setting of the pressure control valve. The membranes only allow fresh water molecules to pass through and the fresh water is fed to the flow gauge, then through a total dissolved solids meter to check the purity of the water, on through a carbon filter to remove any taints or taste contaminants, then on through a remineralizer, usually crushed limestone. The remineralizer is there to put some mineral back into the water to make it taste a little better and also to stop it from dissolving the calcium in the teeth. And then hopefully through an ultraviolet sterilizer to kill any bacteria before being delivered to the fresh water tank. The residual seawater and rejected salts are passed back to the ocean via the overboard non-return valve. On a simple yacht, the system will be much simpler, with the only pump being the high pressure pump driven by either a DC motor or belt driven from the engine, drawing water directly from the sea strainer via a particulate filter. The membrane pressure may be set by a fixed orifice or a needle valve and the fresh water will be delivered directly to the tank. On a system like this, it's essential to dose the fresh water tank with a chemical sterilizer to ensure that the water is safe to use. When you fill your water tank from Marina Water Main in Australia, the water will contain chlorine to ensure that harmful bacteria have been killed. If the water in your fresh water tank has been sitting there for even a short while, the chlorine will have dissipated and the water may begin to contain harmful bacteria. The longer it sits, the greater the bacteria level. And this will be more pronounced in warm tropical waters. It's essential that some form of sterilization is used in the fresh water delivery system to ensure that harmful bacteria are killed. Water sterilizing systems. First, we're going to look at chemical sterilization. A common chemical for water sterilization is HADEX, which is a sodium hypochlorite solution. It's important that if using this system, that the HADEX levels are routinely monitored, with HADEX being added to maintain the required concentration to ensure that the water is safe to use. If using chemical sterilization, it's important that any water used for freshwater flushing of a reverse osmosis water maker's membrane is first passed through a carbon filter to remove the chlorine, which would otherwise damage the membranes. The carbon filter should be routinely replaced to ensure its effectiveness. Another sterilizing system is the silver iron filtration system. Silver iron filtration is a common water sterilization method, particularly in smaller boats. But it's important that all water used is filtered, not just drinking water. It's not uncommon to find Legionnaires bacteria in boat water tanks. And this is introduced into the lungs via a mist. So it's important that shower water is also silver iron filtered to avoid this hazard. The silver iron filters must be routinely replaced to ensure effective sterilization. Ultraviolet sterilizers. We mentioned ultraviolet sterilizers when we were talking about the reverse osmosis system 
and how we sterilise the water prior to putting it into the water tank to ensure that we're not putting bacteria into the tank to breed. We would also put an ultraviolet steriliser after the water filter at the outlet of the fresh water supply pump when the water's been taken out of the tank. It's essential that the UV steriliser is correctly sized to ensure that the water passing through it is completely sterilised. The UV light source should re be replaced routinely as the UV light intensity is reduced by 50% every 12 months of continual use. This reduces effective sterilisation as the light source ages. This is the freshwater system you may find on a large power boat. A small power boat or a yacht will be slightly simpler but will contain most of the components that we're looking at here. The freshwater pump is usually a centrifugal pump and the pressure accumulator stops the pump from rapidly cycling on and off when supplying water. If your pump is rapidly cycling on and off, it means that the pressure accumulator pressure is down and needs to be topped up with air. Your pressure accumulator manual will give you instruction on how to do this and what pressure it should be pumped up to. If this doesn't help, then the pressure accumulator might have a faulty diaphragm. So in this case, you would replace the diaphragm or the pressure accumulator. Smaller boats and yachts may have items 1 and 3, a sediment filter and the steriliser, all combined in a silver iron filter. And usually, they won't have a steriliser after their reverse osmosis water maker, if they have one. That's your fresh water systems in a nutshell. I hope you found this session informative and look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye for now.